Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. Although the focus on mental health has created a great deal of publicity and coverage, information on how people can access support for substance use disorders is not widely presented. That's where the Courage Center comes in. They offer peer recovery support services as part of the evidence-based continuum of care for those struggling with addiction. The Courage Center Recovery Community Organization is now expanding their services to Orangeburg County. Joining us today with more is the Courage Center community psychologist, Dr. Pam M. Dr. M, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Billie Jean, great to see you again. The Courage Center started mm -hmm. in Columbia, mm -hmm. Lexington, mm -hmm. now expanding to mm -hmm. Orangeburg. That is a huge deal and some such a great resource for our community. I want you to tell our viewers what the Courage Center is because I know that we've heard about it and covered mm -hmm. it heavily mm -hmm. here on WIS, mm -hmm. but um, now that is starting to go more places across right. the state, that is incredible. Great, happy to do that. Mm -hmm. So as you said, we started in Lexington, we've expanded into Richmond, Lynn, and now uh, on Thursday we're doing our ribbon cutting for Orangeburg. We are a recovery community organization which means that we have peer support specialists that are trained to walk with individuals who might be um, beginning their recovery journey, perhaps they have some substance misuse or even um, been diagnosed with a substance use disorder mm -hmm. that we're able to support them in ways that um, are uh, good in the sense of able to move them forward on that recovery journey. Not substance abuse, substance misuse. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the words matter mm -hmm. and when you start caring for people mm -hmm. and you're, you start talking about the recovery mm -hmm. process, that's mm -hmm. just one of the many little mm -hmm. things that you will notice that really helps mm -hmm. shape the mindset. One of the things that you guys uh, pride yourselves on, I love this, the Courage Center can help no judgment. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with substance misuse, mm -hmm. I love that terminology by the way, uh, so many people can judge, mm -hmm. but it's a disorder, it's a disease. Mm -hmm. And so when you come there, when you're talking to one of your peers, all that judgment out the window. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, it's always interesting to me that, you know, back in the last century is when alcoholism and addiction was identified as a disease. Mm -hmm. And we don't always treat it like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's usually seen as something that is a moral failing or something bad or something wrong. And even how we talk to people and about people is important and mm -hmm. so I love that you picked up on substance misuse mm -hmm. right yeah. um, and you know certainly there are youth young adults and family members who are in situations where you know they wonder if a family member has trouble they might see them misusing substances alcohol drugs marijuana but don't um, necessarily know where to go so what we tell people is start with us because we have a lot of community connections. We do a lot of what we call resource navigation. People call us all the time, not quite sure you know, where to go or what to do. Yeah. And we can see them and direct them into um, a location that would be helpful in terms of what they need then for their substance misuse, or even things like um, housing, um, employment, mm -hmm. right, food. A, a lot of times people, who are in these situations, they um, have situations that are really hard, right? Yeah. And maybe they're not able to work anymore, have some health conditions. And so with the collaborations that we do in all of our locations, we really like to um, be able to know where to resend people to, where to refer people to. Dr. M, how do you have that conversation with your loved one who you know is struggling mm -hmm. and maybe they just have not come to terms mm -hmm. with themselves that mm -hmm. they are struggling? Mm -hmm. How do you break that ice to get them to the Courage mm -hmm. Center? Well, um, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. I do know that you know how you say things, like we said, is mm -hmm. important. Um, being uh, confrontational isn't necessarily the best way, right? Yeah. Usually people in that situation, they know they have a problem. They know that there are some issues that are going on. And so how we talk about people in terms of, I'm concerned about you, this is what I'm seeing. I hear there's a location that might be able to help us at least figure out mm -hmm. if you are having a, a problem that might need to be seen by a physician or, or you know, other mental health provider. And so coming over to, to our location, we really pride ourselves on having a welcoming environment. Mm -hmm. I think you might have some pictures of, of what the inside of the Orangeburg location looks like. Yes. Um, because we care about people. And you know, again, a lot of times people in this situation, they assume that they're gonna be treated poorly or looked at with stigma and um, shame. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so we, we um, do what we can to be welcoming, not only in our environment, but how we interact and talk. So important. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, just with the history of your locations mm -hmm. in Lexington mm -hmm. and Richland County, mm -hmm. what are some of the uh, results as far as recovery mm -hmm. rates? Yes, well, we know mm -hmm. that um, there's a lot of work to be done. Mm -hmm. Certainly, we see people in a variety of settings. So we're now actually even going into the Lexington Medical Center, nice. um, into the emergency department. And just yesterday, maybe the day before, they were saying that in two very short months, we had already hooked up 44 people. We had spoken with 44 people. Wow. And I think 12 of them had um, moved forward with some services that they might need. Uh, youth, young adults, it might be a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? Because you have to think about where they are developmentally. Right. Um, and certainly, you know, we want to hire people who live in the counties, mm, right? Very so, important. Right, right, particularly in Orangeburg, yeah. who um, don't always have the resources that, that they really need. And um, they have been so incredibly welcoming, so incredibly um, appreciative. Of, of our work and really, really great partners. All righty, mm -hmm. and lastly, before we touch on the details on Thursday's mm -hmm. ribbon cutting in Orangeburg, what age range do you mm -hmm. help at the Courage Center? Yes, well, when we were in Lexington, we started with youth and young adults, mm -hmm. but um, a while ago, we went to all ages. Wow. All ages. Wow. I mean, we would get calls, um, you know, people that were older and, you know, just kind of felt weird not to be able to, to serve them or mm -hmm. do what we wanted with them. So we said this, it's like an artificial cutoff. So, yeah. so we're serving all ages, youth, all young ages. adults. and mm -hmm. Never and too late to get help or never too early. That's right. That's yes, right. And really also good. family members too, because mm -hmm. we know that that is so important. Family struggle. Yeah. Family struggle, just like um, individual struggle. And so we have groups and coaches available for family members as well. Wow, that is great information, mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. M. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, in Orangeburg, the Courage Center ribbon cutting is going to be at 950 Holly Street, right downtown Orangeburg. Yes. Uh, from 4 to 6, Thursday, June 27th. RSVP is encouraged when people come to the ribbon cutting mm -hmm. event. What should they expect? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have a short program, mm -hmm. um, and they can come and tour our facility, ask any questions. We'll have people that work there. Um, and just excited to celebrate this new resource in Orangeburg. All right, sounds mm -hmm. good. And I'll make sure to post all the details on my Facebook page, mm -hmm. Billie Jean Shaw. I'll post it right now so you can see the flyer, all the information as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Mm -hmm. M, for Thank coming you. on. We're going to take a quick break. Much more Soda City Live after this. Let me go ahead and